So now to the final of the men's lightweight eights with the defending champions, Great Britain in four, and Denmark and Italy, former champions in lanes two and three. But we begin the rundown with Argentina, furthest away in lane number one. Seven of the nine members of the crew who competed last year when they finished ninth in action in today's final. Next to them, Italy with three changes to last year's crew. Italy who took the bronze medal in America. And then moving across to Denmark, the champions in 1992. Runners up for the past two years, Denmark. Four changes to this outfit. Great Britain, five newcomers to their boat. Germany with virtually a completely new crew in lane number five and the United States also just one survivor from their 1994 crew racing today. So a lot of experience once again. And this is certain to be hard fought. They squeeze those first strokes in. And the pressure is really on now. Well, the pressure's on Great Britain, certainly, to uh, defend that title. They've been going very well through the, uh, the year. But three of the men out of this boat have gone into the Coxless Four to try and win a place at the Olympics uh, next year. And the rest of the men here are out to prove that they've got the wrong men. And this British crew defending the title are a very strong prospect. But they won it in fine style, but only by a whisker from Denmark 12 months ago. Ben Helmut stroke there, taking the crew off. Very experienced man in the Coxless Four last year when they broke the world record heavyweight and lightweight record in Paris. But here at the moment, in the lead, it's Denmark. Argentina out on the far side with Paolo Abrastegui at the stroke seat, setting the rhythm. And they are already finding it hard as they come through the first 500 meters. And it's Denmark who flash through in the lead ahead of Germany with the United States in third place ahead of Great Britain. And then in fifth place are Italy and Argentina just at the back at the moment. Well, Great Britain and Italy sitting there pretty well neck and neck. But Denmark a good third of a length ahead and looking very strong. Italy stroked... Uh, by the great Fabrizio Ravasi, who's won this event seven times, seven times in the past. And here he is at stroke again, leading a very strong Italian challenge. But the man in the stroke seat for Denmark, Bo Vestergaard, he also knows what this is about. It was really painful last year. They just lost by 0.3 of a second. And the Italians trying to get back the title, which they won in 1990 and again in 1991. But in recent times, they found the competition pretty hot. Well, it's Great Britain who last year sat in this position about half a length down and then came storming through to snatch victory at the last moment. Denmark will be ready for that. They're not going to want to let it happen again. But this is a good British crew, looking good, boat running very nicely between the strokes. And here they are now, half a length down, as a, almost like a replay of last year's uh, final. Half a length down to the British crew, Denmark looking strong as they go through the 1,000-metre mark, and Italy threatening on the far side. And Denmark still the fastest movers out on the water, 125.30 for the first quarter, 128.60 for the second 500. And that's considerably quicker than anyone else. Well, they are still moving away now. They have now squeezed out about another quarter of a length. Germany still there threatening, but Italy have the measure of them. Germany finding it a little bit hard to keep that pressure there. Timing not quite as good, and they're steering a little bit off-center. 
not quite as cohesive as the men out in front of them. Denmark in the lead. And here, the United States going very deep there at seven, throwing up a lot of water. And they're sitting there now in fifth position. But it's Denmark still out, three quarters of a length ahead. Great Britain now trying to fight back on terms. Great Britain have got to move now. Race is running out, and they've got to move on Denmark. But Denmark are responding. Denmark are ready for them this time, and they're beginning to push on. Great moving up, and Denmark are flying. Yes, Dennis Larson, the coxswain facing Bo Vestergaard. And those two men in charge of the plan, and so far so good for the Danes. Coming through now with just about a quarter of the race left to go now. And Great Britain have got to find a length if they want to take the lead. Italy certainly have got a length to make up. And then uh, very close between the United States and Germany. United States chasing Germany at the moment. And Argentina on the far side, out of it, I'm afraid. And in sixth place but Denmark now with almost clear water over Great Britain and far from uh, Britain making an impression it's in fact the Danes who are going further away this is what they've been planning to do all year the British had a very good season successful in Lucerne they thought that they were going to be the front runners but it's Denmark who just seized the initiative off the start and with 250 meters to go uh, still, though, an overlap, but Britain has got far too much to do. It looks like it's Denmark in fifth place, United States, back Argentina back in sixth place, but it's Denmark leading the field here in the last 200 metres. Indeed it is, and the British are beginning to wind it up now, but surely they've left it far, far too late. The Danes are in charge now, the British have got the overlap, and they are coming, they are travelling quickly now, but they've given themselves far, far too much to do. The Italians are in third, and they're well clear of the rest. Nobody's going to challenge them for third place. The British, as you can see, are getting closer, but so is the line, and Denmark regain the title over Great Britain who relinquish it with Italy in the bronze medal position, the same position as they occupied last year. Germany holding off the Americans and Argentina on the far side in sixth place. So a really excellent performance by the Danes. They had the plan fixed in their minds and Dan, didn't they do it well? Well, it was a great, great performance. They'd planned this all through the year to get their revenge on the British crew. The British crew had dominated the season in Europe, but Denmark were biding their time, and this is where it counted. There they are, three quarters of length ahead. Certainly, Great Britain did close in the last 200 metres, but it wasn't enough. Triumph for Denmark, and Italy just overlapping in third place. So Denmark delighted at their success, Great Britain somewhat disappointed. But a lot of these men will now be looking to get a place in the lightweight four for Atlanta. Well, that's going to be very tough. We've got some very talented men in this eight, but they also have a very successful lightweight four. So Denmark, very, very strong in lightweight rowing. And those lightweight events in the Olympic Games for the first time next year, something to really look forward to. Not only the lightweight men's four, but also the double skulls for men and for women. Victory,